Today's societies are very complex and our media system is getting even more complex too. So it's very important for top management as well for communication executives to understand that communication is more than speaking out. It's important to listen and it's also important not only to steer communication using your communication department but also to understand that every employee nowadays is communicating with stakeholders. Top management nowadays needs to understand that the corporate communication function uh, can do more than produce, um, produce uh, journals, produce media statements and all these things. Uh, I think there are two important uh, issues to think of. On the one hand, speaking out means um, you need a core identity, core messages uh, to bring them out, but at the same time you need to think in terms of polyphony meaning that there are different shades of your messages, shades of your identity, which you will bring over to different stakeholder groups. And on the other uh, hand, if you think about listening, um, it's about monitoring public opinion, and that's not only a technical issue, it has much to do with culture. So in the end, you need a, an architecture of a listening for your whole company, and corporate communication departments can help to develop such a strategy and such an architecture. We just uh, finished a trans-European qualitative survey. It's called um, ECOPSI, the European Communication Professionals Skills and innovation uh, approach. Uh, the very consistent uh, results across Europe were that communication professionals um, lack uh, three or four very important features. The first one is really to understand um, the organizational surrounding micropolitics organizational goals. The second issue is how to align communication policies to corporate policies. We talked about that a minute before. And the third important um, issue is really to understand business in their uh, respective markets. So it's more about market knowledge uh, linked to specific uh, companies. In the end, it's all business and management knowledge, and uh, it's important to get hold of that in the future. So, so top management, in my opinion, based on our research, uh, needs uh, three. Um, important uh, skills to really uh, use the full potential of communication for common corporations nowadays. On the first one is really to understand the complexity of communication. Communication is not a one-sided process where you press a button and something happens in the head of your receiver, but it's a two-way process. It's a complex social interaction constructing uh, joint realities and uh, such a broad understanding of communication is the first and most important point. The second uh, issue is how to interact with your communication departments and specialist advisors to understand their real business partners and not only people who can execute communication, write press releases and so on, but they can help you to understand the complexity of the public sphere, what's going on and to utilize that potential and how to utilize that. That's the second important point. And the third and last um, issue is obviously that co top, top executives need to communicate themselves. Um, that means especially addressing internal publics. So how to speak with them, how to act in dialogue, not only personally but nowadays over social media. How to do that very practically, that's a personal asset that top executives nowadays and the future need.